Hey, God bless you. Hey, welcome to Money Minute Ministry today. I want to say, excuse me for being a little late with the production, but I got some great information I want to share to you hot off the press. I want to talk about putting things in order. Um, I want to talk about having a constant investment style just based on this scripture. Titus 1 and 5, it says, For this cause left I thee in Cree, that thou should set in order the things that are wanting, and, and ordain elder in every city as I had appointed thee. Paul left a young man, Titus, in a city. People can become saved, but they need to grow as Christians. Uh, in a financial world, you can want to be rich, but you've got to grow to be rich. And I want to share some things with you about putting things in order. Uh, get a folder and start document, uh, you know, your net worth at the age of 20 or 19. And every five years, write in that journal and see where you have accumulated. Start keeping where you deposit your money, how you spend your money. Start looking back over budgets. Uh, last year, what did you spend? What did you save? Where can you cut? Start setting things in order. Now, I don't want to twist the scripture. I want you to understand the content. Paul left Titus there because he had brought salvation to the people, but they needed structure and Titus needed to find people that was responsible, who was qualified to be the pastor of the people, ordained elders. Titus, I'm leaving you there to set things in the order. They say, but they're out of order. And when things are out of order, it's going to be devastating to you and to others. And so I said to you, learn how to put things in order. Um, it says, what is order? I have three words. My father and mother used to drill them on. Organization. If you're not organized, it's going to be all messed up when you get up in the morning. Organize your clothes. Know where your socks are at, where your shirt's at, where your pants. And better yet, lay them out. Bring them out of the closet. Be organized. Did you hear me? Be organized. Preparation. My father used to say, measure twice, cut once. In other words, prepare, prepare, prepare. Preparation is 60% of it. Execution is 20% of it. And cleanup is the other 20 uh, my, I, used, I could hear my father bless his soul. He's dead and sleeping with uh, the other saints. Uh, but he would always say preparation. Boy, before you start doing a job, you want to get to the end before you start. Do your preparation. Before you cut that grass, walk through that yard and pick up all the paper and sticks. Don't get on the lawn more. Can you hear your parents say that? Preparation, preparation. Can you hear your parents say that? Yes, sir. Yes, I got a witness here. Me and him, the only one hit them drill sergeants. That's father. Lieutenant, you, yes, dad, I'm here. Cut the grass. Dad, I'm going to cut the grass. What? You didn't pick up that paper. See, you don't cut the paper up and it's all over the yard. Preparation is 60% of it. Execution is 20. Clean up. My father, you say, oh, yeah, you got to clean that lawnmower off after you finish cutting that grass. Don't put it away with all that grass on it. Check the oil and tip it off. I can still hear his voice now. So when you go get it, it's already ready to go. Man, isn't that clean up? So organization is order. Preparation is order. And that floor behind especially. Sequence. My mother always had a way. You got to do this first. Son, you clean that kitchen up before you go in there and cook. She had a sequence. Don't go in there cooking and that kitchen is dirty. My mother had to say, oh yeah, dry the sink out. Mama, the, the sink gonna dry. Dry that sink out. All the dishes had to be washed before you go to bed at night and put away. I want to wash them and just put them in the dish rack. Uh-uh, Miss Hines come get you out of that bed. And she ain't saying, baby, wake up. Oh, y'all don't hit me. Some of y'all ain't got them great mothers that I had in my life. So I want to talk about Setting things in order is organization, preparation, and sequence. It's first things first, not second thing first. First things first. You know, get up, go in there and brush your teeth, comb your hair, 
feel like a millionaire was my mother word to me. That's the first thing I want you to do. And then make up that bed before you come down here for breakfast. Sequence. My mother had a method of how to do it. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Dollar cross averaging. That's our financial tip. Have a sequence. You're building towards a big pot of money. You can't get a big pot of money. Get rid of the quick get rich schemes. Help me now. I'm talking uh, old, old, old people wisdom. I hope you get it, young people. I hope you get it, middle aged people. Because you get old because you can live long. You don't get old because you die young. Let's look at dollar cross averaging. Setting things in order. First of all, I don't have a lot of money. I come to that conclusion. And I've got a 20 year picture of I'm going to have a lot of money. So if you're 19, you can have a lot of money at 39. You don't have it at 19. But you got to get organized. You got first says, this is how much money I make a year. You got to make preparation. This is how much I've saved. This is how much I'm going to spend on my car. This is how much I'm going to spend on my girlfriend. This is how much I'm going to spend on outing. Getting organized. Having a prepar being prepared with your check. And then sequence. The first thing I'm going to do is pay the law. They're going to take the taxes and pay myself. And then everything else comes out of that. My father-in-law taught me that. Uh, Sammy Smith, God bless his soul. He would always tell me, pay yourself first, James. He didn't pay me well, but I paid myself. All praise God. I worked for my wife at the time, girlfriend, parents. Yeah, they, they, they made sure their they daughter would have a working man. They trained me to work. My parents trained me to work. But the sequence of my father-in-law, pay yourself first. I don't know who in the world go to work and is broke. That don't even sound good. Does it, Brother Kijo? No, sir. What's, what's wrong with you going to work and broke? I'm always going to have something for that rainy day and that sunny day. I hear people always put something away for the rainy day. Well, there's some sunny days I'm going to have something too. That sounds pretty good. Listen here. Let me explain briefly dollar cross averaging. It's where you're sequential. You put a certain amount of money away every month at the designated time. Because, you know, now I'm starting to get organized. And you can help yourself by doing automatic withdrawals. Make sure somebody helps you to stay organized. You prepare yourself. I'm prepared to go to work. Well, I'm sequenced every Friday. When you get paid, Brother Kijo? Every Friday. Every Friday. So you ought to make a deposit every Friday of financial increase in your life. Can you do that for me, Brother Kijo? Yes, sir. All right. I'm counting on you. I need to borrow. Uh, today is Wednesday, right? Yes, sir. Can I borrow $5 Friday? Yes, sir. I know you get paid. See, sometimes you ought not tell folk when you get paid. Could because people make it a ritual talk to you when they know you got money. They they get organized and they are prepared and they know sequential. They don't call you on Sunday or Tuesday. What day they call you on, Keijo? Friday. Oh, help me. Somebody <laughs> said the eagle flies on Friday. Let me get to this dollar cross average. A mutual fund. And I'll explain that next week. XYZ. Just to not to promote somebody's product. A mutual fund. A no low mutual fund. I'll explain that later too. January. The, the mutual fund price is $20. You invest $1,000. You get 50 shares. Now, I use the nice round number so I can be quick to say 50 shares. February comes. You invest your $1,000. Uh, the price is at $16. The price of them went down. You buy 62.5 shares. March come around. The stock going down again. It's $12. You invest $1,000, you get $83. Excuse my assistant, eight. Look like he's a little poor there, isn't it? It's a Wednesday, it's not Friday, he's a little poor. 83.3. <laughs> April comes, the stocks start to go back up. $17. You invest $1,000, you get $58, 58.2 shares. May come, the stock is at an all time high. All time high. It's high at 17, 12, 16, and 20. It's at $23. You're buying at a high, 1,000. You get the less shares that you ever bought. 
at a purchase. 43.48. A total, total uh, number of shares. 298 shares and a fraction, 14, get your fraction. You total spent in five months, $5,000. The value of XYZ is $6,857.11. Your average share price is 16.77. So you took these five numbers, added them up, divided them by five, and that's the average price you was paying for share. So you know your every thousand dollars was averaging you about 62 shares. Because at $16, we get 62.5. So at $16.67, dividing that total amount, we get a number of $2,098. Excuse me, 298.14 shares. Total invested 5,000. The value of it is 6,000. How? Because 298.14 times 16.77 equals $6,857. That's why you want to do dollar cost averaging. You buy up here, you buy down there, you buy here, you buy up there, you buy here, you buy here. And when you sell out, that's why you want to be in order. You want to have automatic withdrawals with your money because you're preparing for your future and make it sequential first things first not second things first you can't have a lot of money until you save a lot of money that's something that I'm praying that many of you who have created a habit taking a little and spending a lot you got more debt than you got money or you got more month than you got money Learn how to start organizing your finance, preparing to spend in a certain order sequence. I sent you there to put things in order. God have put me here in your life to help you to get organized so you can grow spiritually and financially. And so I say to you, Titus, one in five, you might be a creek in your life or a creek in your life. But God has prepared people to help you be in the place God has ordained for you financially. And that's my word for this Money Minute Ministry, this JLJA production. Yours truly, Pastor James L. Hines. Until then, peace be with you.